Sunshine with weather from KFI, partly cloudy with highs near 70 along the coast, low 70s in Metro LA and Inland OC, around 80 in the valleys and IE. We lead local, live from the KFI, Sorry, I'm Layla Monish. Here's what you need to know about the Pfizer COVID-19 booster. Not everyone needs one. Those who should receive a booster are 65 and older, long-term care residents and those 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions. Consider a booster if you're 18 to 49 with underlying medical conditions, or 18 to 64 with a high risk of COVID exposure at work. Only get a booster if it's been at least six months since you received your second dose of Pfizer. Find a booster near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Spectrum Mobile is reinventing wireless again. Get unlimited on two plus lines for $29.99 a month per line. No contracts, no added taxes or fees. Includes nationwide 5G. Save up to 60% with Spectrum Mobile. Get unlimited on two plus lines for $29.99 a month. Call 855-400-2999. Or visit a store near you. Offer valid for new customers on two plus unlimited lines. Next in the internet for flight. And saving space on two lines comparison of unlimited plans from major national carriers as of 9 2021 Call Oni at 8332 Oni or go to Oni.com to a 30 year fixed refi today. 2.5% Oni or Oni.com. Call Oni at 8332 Oni or log on to Oni.com. That's 8332 Oni or Oni.com.
I know a lot of men that are totally open and yeah, yeah, that are in yeah. therapy. Yeah. But they're not crying all over the place mm. all the time. That is a two different thing. Crying all over the place all the time. <laughs> you haven't cried in Go eight on. years. Mm. Eight years. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. When was the last time I cried? When was the last time somebody you saw me it, cry? The last time you cried was at a funeral, I think. That's a very common occurrence. Yeah. But not like... <laughs> no, but just like... Yeah. So you well up. And there was a memorial service that I was that I was at in uh, in July for a cousin of mine, right. a cousin of mine who passed away. Right. And I didn't cry, but, you but I had to speak. Oh, and yeah. I started crying like this. Yeah. I just started so crying like this. That's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. I just had a service like that, too. And suddenly you can't speak, and it, it you feel like you're paralyzed. It's terrible. I can't speak in public to save my life. Is that what you feel like? Um, you know, I think that's right. I guess so, for you, yeah. All right, uh, we've got some strange science stories. Strange science like weird science, but strange. Oh, four oh times a month. Four times a month is not. I mean, do you That's not a lot, or it is a How lot. How often do you guys cry? Yeah. Like, uh, Jacob? I can't remember the last time. <laughs> maybe, maybe like two years ago? Okay. Yeah. Tony? Mm -hmm. Oh. 20 minutes ago? 20 years? 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah. Now, yeah. now, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, I'm not, now, I'm not, no, saying, you guys are, I'm not yeah. saying you guys are lying, because I'm on that same team, right? We're going to keep it in no matter what. That means that on average, someone's right. crying like six times a day. Some right. dude is around here right. bawling right. to make that average of once a week for men. Yeah. I think I know who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, who is it? Oh, oh, big time. <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Did you see the picture of this motorcycle? That oh, is the cool. coolest thing. That is cool. Um, there is, uh, it's been 50 years since <laughs> NASA put a buggy on the moon. Uh, Apollo 15 was the mission. Dave Scott and Jim Irwin were the astronauts who spent hours on the, uh, oh. the lunar surface with their buggy, and it was awesome, and it had those wire mesh tires and things like that. They're talking about going back to the to the moon later this decade, and how is what would be a good, um, efficient way to get around the moon? The, and they're talking about a motorcycle. Yeah, they call it the tardigrade after the microscopic water bear animals that can survive in the extreme conditions of space. It is an electric vehicle brought to life by Nico von Hucke of the German motor design company Hucke. Uh, uses laser cut aluminum frame nice members nice support a uh, Kevlar cover mm -hmm. provided by DuPont mm -hmm. to protect the drivetrain from the radiation you experience once okay. you're outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Right. It just looks yeah, see. awesome. It's got oversized wheels mm -hmm. and tires, mm -hmm. you know, clearly on uh, the front and back. Yeah. Um, but it yeah, would, see. It, you would straddle it like a motorcycle. Uh, very long wheelbase, they said, the length of about eight and a half feet, battery.